Oh man, let me tell you something now. Uh, I just lost all my focus. I had questions and stuff now. Tharias, what are you doing, man? <laughs> heat. heat. I've never seen this in your store. Yeah, because it's uh, been too expensive to keep there. It's a bit sca- like uh, keep them locked away. Oh my goodness. Now, I wish this was live, but anyway, by midday, you're going to watch it on video. He brought out some collectibles, and this is the whole thing about this game, and he will unpack it for us, um, which is very, very important for us to understand this game. But, well, I the first the check-in question I asked, uh, Therese, from the back door, by the way, I told you to check them out on Instagram and even on the web, is how much is your wardrobe? That question doesn't apply to you, but it applies to the store. God forbid, God forbid, a spark happens in one of the plugs. We touch wood. Hey, touch wood, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole shop bends down. What figure are we looking at? A few million. A few what? Million. <laughs> yeah. We, when we just opened, I think we started off with about 20, maybe 25 pairs of shoes and like maybe 10 uh, clothing items. Now, I think in total we have about 1,500 different items and that's not with like sizes as well. So, for instance, on one shoe we might have three or four sizes. So, yeah, yeah we, I think we up of 5,000, maybe close to between five and 8,000 different items in the store and uh, you know it's not like Jeez. it's expensive stuff so yeah a few million now, i would think and that's the thing about it and shimza as well tweeted this not so long ago he says all the best nike shoes are not at nike yeah that's true how is that explain that explain that world for me okay so they start off at at nike they they start mm. off but obviously i don't know why i'm not too sure the intricacies of it but most of the time, the best stuff doesn't go to the NARC stores, the physical stores. It <laughs> yeah. releases online through a process that you have to enter like a raffle type of situation. And if you get picked, then you can buy the shoe. It's something like that. Sure. So that's why it's so hard to find. So if you go into a NARC store, yes, you'll find some good stuff, some some Jordan ones, yeah. some Dunks and stuff. But you'll never find like what we have here, like a Travis Scott at that. That you'll find on their online store or like... Overseas, a lot of boutique stores get it, like the high, the high the end, end stores. Yeah. Um, sometimes um, one or two stores in South Africa will get it as they release, but it's very rare. It doesn't happen often. So, yeah, that's then obviously we get them. Um, 99% of the time it's not from like the the retail store we have to get it from guys that get it da, da, da. so it's quite an intricate thing so it's a thing. whole game yeah, exactly exactly actually it's a whole economy exactly so sneakers are at the core of what you do right yes that's where it started but we 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 also sneakers is a whole culture so the clothing goes with it the collectibles go with it yeah. the bag the this the that so it's the streetwear it's like that's what we focus on i want i want to i want to delve deeper into that um because i'm trying to understand it and funny enough um you i think i think our 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 phones have a way of recording what you're saying and feeding it to ai and soon on your reels you start seeing things that you were talking about some day I said the word sneaker corn, yes. right? And I saw a lot of reels coming up. Yes. And this is obviously the US and, and, and so m- most of it. Sneaker corn, what is that? Explain that phenomenon for me. Sneaker corn is something that I wish they came to South Africa or even Africa. It would be, it would be great just for the culture. Obviously here we have a huge, a huge culture and a huge luck amount of people that enjoy this type of stuff but it's nowhere close it's it's yeah. a fraction of the stuff from yeah. overseas so sneaker con is a convention where all different people whether they have stores whether they sell just on their own maybe they collectors maybe they just appreciate the stuff they they rent out entire sure i can only sent in convention yes, center it's massive yeah. it's massive there must be tens of thousands of people whether they vendors or just uh collectors that come that share the same passion and yeah they the the collectors come to see because that's where most of these unknown guys because in america obviously like i said the the thing is so so big that 
there's so many pages or so many people that mm. type of, uh, sell this type of stuff um, and that's where now the collectors know that these guys are going to be here and they go and hunt mm. for specific mm. pairs because again this this game is not only about the actual thing yes it is just the shoe at the end of the day and most people don't understand like yeah. they think a shoe is something you buy and you wear it until it's finished and then you buy then, another one but yeah. it's for for this type of stuff it's bigger than that for instance some of these shoes you buy them when if you're lucky enough which is very very rare yeah. you get the shoe maybe from the retailer Nike whatever for I don't know for instance that red shoe there that shoe when it came out in 20 that is the Nike OG yes, and this off is an off white yes, off white Nike Chicago, exactly yeah, yeah. so when that shoe came out on the Nike website it came out for around about two and a half grand five USDs no 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 rand. 2,500 Never. Rand. This shoe? That shoe, yes. So, if you... Now, I've kept the shoe in immaculate conditions. Not Wait. been worn. It's been in the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now the shoe is in worth of excess of... Depending on a lot of variables. But I would say no less than 150,000 rand. What? <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's much whoa, bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. On the day yes. of release, yes. the version of Blaws yes. Off White yes. collaborates with Nike. Jordan, 100%. Nike, right? Yes. OGs, 100%. 2,500 rands. And 250 for shipping. <laughs> 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 so, three grand in total, let's say. 3,000 rand plus minus. Plus customs. Uh, no, 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 no. This, this was a local release, so it came off the Nike South Africa website. So, you didn't have to pay customs or anything. How far back was this? This was in, if I'm not mistaken, about 2015, give or take, 2015, 2014. And this is, what, almost 10 years later? 100%. It's 150,000 rands now. Yes, and when this shoe launched, it came as a pack called the 10, and there was 10 different shoes. And all of those shoes ranged from, let's say, about 2 grand to, let's say, 4 grand when <laughs> they launched. And I don't think you can get one cheaper if it's brand new because that's also something yes. that's important for less than, about, I would say, 10,000 of that specific pack. Yeah. Yeah. So each one, like, some are more rare than other, but obviously this being the OG silhouette and the OG colorway of Jordan, it's the most expensive out of the out of, of that 10. Of that 10. Yes. Now, somebody, will somebody come and want to buy that? We have sold some pairs, yes. What? Yeah. Do they wear them? Yes. And is. walk the streets with them? They go to the clubs in them and pop bottles with them. <laughs> yes. I saw DJ Khaled yes. wearing Jordans, not once, the other one. I think you have a pair of it. Red. And he didn't want to touch the floor. He asked his bodyguards to carry him <laughs> from the car to the stage. Yeah. There's a video, must, please, you must go check it out. And I was like, what's, what the fuss? You're wearing the shoe. Walk in the shoe. But you know DJ Khaled, he likes to... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I got it. It was content. I get, I get that. But I was like... But the normal, like, like for instance, these shoes, yeah, even though, yes, I sold them and stuff, and I truly appreciated them, that's why I have, like, kept them. And obviously, that's why I went into this, because it was my passion. I was... Yeah, I was about to yeah. go there. Like, Why? Yeah, I, it, How did it, it start? It was a passion. Uh, at the time when I started, I was I must have been again about sixteen years old. Um, and I and you're seventeen now. It's okay. No. <laughs> One year later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got into it because I started seeing it like here and there. Because at the time, yes, there was a sneaker culture, but. In Cape Town, it was much bigger. And there was a lot of guys that, like a group of maybe 20 guys. And these okay. guys were, like you would see them. And obviously at that time, Instagram also wasn't as big as it is now. Yes. Social media wasn't as big as it is now. And I would see it and I'll be like, wow, I'm interested in it. And I would start watching some YouTube videos yeah. and that. Especially of, again, overseas. Because yeah. they've been doing this for sure, yes, many yeah. years. Um, and... Slowly but surely, I started appreciating it, and then I wanted some pairs. And at the time, like, um, like I would ask my mom, "Hey, just please, just yeah. let me buy a shoe." And yeah. you know, one shoe she was fine, but after that, she's like, "Hey, I, I can't afford yeah. to do this." So I realized that 
after watching these guys and sometimes watching some guys that like at that at that time you could be able to get it in the stores and we used to camp out overnight in Bramfontein in, oh, is that in the malls. Those queues exactly. were about. We used to sleep like two, three nights. We used to have shelf life here. Exactly. And there would be queues. Exactly. Those people were sleeping so that they were first in line so they were almost guaranteed to get a pair because that time it used to be first come, first serve. So yeah. if you were first there, you got a pair. And I and I try to figure out why are these guys sleeping three, four, five days? That's quite ex- like like excessive yes. to just get a shoe. And I realized that these guys were buying these shoes and, and, and reselling them for double the price, maybe a few hundred more. And then I said, well, if I can't get the money from my mom, I'll, I'll now take the money that I had, buy two pairs instead of one, and the profit from the second pair selling it would pay for my, my own personal pair so that yeah. I could also have this type yeah. of stuff. Yeah. And from there, that uh, mushroom, then we... Yeah, my brother and I, we used to camp out yes, in the <laughs> craziest places. And yeah, it was like it was like quite a hectic thing because the guys that at the time were were doing this on a larger scale, yeah. it was like it would be like quite like a, a thing because if you got in front of them, then they were angry because like this was their livelihood. And yes. it was, yeah, it was quite fun. I'll be honest. I look back at those days with fun, even though we yeah. used to sleep in the car and sleep yes. in the parking lot of malls and stuff. Yeah. We enjoyed it. And yeah, from there, people started hearing, okay, this guy, he can get you sneakers. I never had no Instagram or anything. Yeah, I just yeah, saw yeah. people talking. Okay. And Word of mouth. Yeah. From the power, there. power, man. Well, yeah, we we uh, just the passion that I uh, I wanted to buy my own shoes and yeah. from there it just grew from there. And right there, it's a passion, right? It's it's a hobby. Yes. But something in you said, let's make this a business. Exactly. So I uh, I went finished school. I was still doing this here and there. But when I say I was doing it, I was selling one two pairs a month. Uh, like yeah. just yeah. It, it was something that we were enjoying, my brother and I. Yeah. And then. Um, I went to varsity, I did my degree, so yeah. forth and so on. And then after that, uh, during that time, I was selling maybe now four pairs a month. Okay. Just, just yeah. again, just for find a bit of extra money here and there. Yeah. And then I went and I started working and I really genuinely didn't enjoy it. And <laughs> this yeah. is corporate. Yeah, yes, exactly. Um, doing uh, marketing and like, uh, yeah, stuff I didn't enjoy. Yeah. And then I sat down with my mom and I said to her, listen, like, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try. I had some, a little bit of money saved yeah. up. And I told her that I'll rather like be poor or, or, or have a, uh, yeah, like a, a humble life doing something I really enjoy yeah. than hating it and being a millionaire. Uh, that's what I'd rather yeah. do. Yeah. So uh, we gathered together what we could and we yeah started the store with literally like i say i'll show you photos after we're done yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the shelves there was maybe 20 pairs of shoes yeah maybe 10 t-shirts and maybe one or two bags yeah 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 from there we i just carried on carried on carried on as soon as we opened covid hit so we closed yeah because we opened in like the february of that year yeah and the march we had to close because of covid but yeah just through the grace of god and continuous uh yeah trying we, we we just continue to grow and get better and bigger and yeah that's do that's people camp out of your store now no no we see so we're not a retailer <laughs> we're a reselling store so okay. uh, so that's also something that people struggle to understand some wait we yes. need to we need to unpack that sure so a retailer yes it's the ones that are at the malls yes. selling this thing court yes. order will be a reseller yes exactly will be in your same space as you exactly. right okay exactly. cool and the difference there so the retailer has actual contracts with Nike. So they get the shoe for wholesale price That's and right. then they have a accredited like um, portfolio to be able to to sell the stuff. Yeah. They yeah. are accredited by Nike, by Adidas, by Puma, whatever. Yeah. So we are a reseller. We buy it from these people, the, ah. the, the sort of the pairs, just like it's just like w- b- watches. You, you, yeah. you buy yeah. it. Some people can't get it. They they want it because they can't get it, and that's what we are. We okay. we resell the item. Yes, of course, it comes with a, a premium because mm. of the fact that you can't find these things most of the time. A lot of these shoes never even came to South Africa, so we're bringing them in from overseas, and they do come with a premium, which un- it is an unfortunate thing. But we also try to cater for people that 
obviously our, our can't afford to wear 150,000 rand. So we yeah. also cater for the people that um, like 2,000 rand, 3,000 yeah. rand. Yeah. And, and, and we yeah. also cater clothing and, and that type of stuff. That's so right. That's the, that's the difference. Are you a millionaire yet? Nah, no. I'm just, I'm just a humble guy. <laughs> just sell shoes yeah, and clean shoes. He has made his million. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that answer is coming. He made his million. There's a kid, yes, like you, going to his parents on some or her parents on some. I want to get into this game. The parent is listening. Yes. What do you say? I say give them the chance because. Yes, it's difficult to understand the fact that a shoe is 20,000 rand, 40,000 rand, even 5,000 rand. I think even some people struggle to come to terms with a shoe being 3,000 rand. Yeah. But there is, yeah, I, I think if, the, if your son or daughter has a passion for it, I think support them because there is, especially if they if they doing it for the right reasons and doing it because out of love of the actual things, yeah. I think then they will definitely succeed because there is people that, like you said, buying these shoes that even though I sell them, I can't comprehend wearing them. Mm. They buy them and they wear them and yeah. they enjoy the, the shoe because the reason why they buy it is nobody else has it. So when they walk into the club, yeah, everyone looks and they know, like most people know, okay, this guy is serious. He's a serious guy. I wonder what is the the telltale sign that this is a classic. He'll answer this question after Shade. We started with uh, Dalinguwe, the Wanito Amos. Why that song with Master KG? You've come to our store before. Ah, <laughs> ziabuya da. Eh, ziawara. Like right now you walk in. You walk in. Don't think there's some slow music playing. No, no, no. It's a party. 100%. That's what we aim to do. People must come in and they must feel welcome and they must enjoy themselves because we appreciate the fact whether you're buying a key ring or an expensive shoe. You must have fun. You must enjoy it and you must feel like the family because yeah. many times when I was younger, I walked into these stores, not like what I'm selling, but these stores that are selling these premium goods and I, I walk out because I don't feel like I should be there. Yeah, I, I feel yeah, yeah. unwelcome, so That's I, right. I, I leave from the place. So ah, yeah. It must and be then, a party. what's with you and Shade? I have a weird music taste. <laughs> 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 My mom used to play all this type of music when I was younger. I had yeah. some other classics, but I thought, let me just play something. I wonder. <laughs> okay, what, what what other song you thought it was obscure? <laughs> Give it to me. Some, classics. Some. Um, some Perry White, like that type of stuff. Baby, listen, that's, <laughs> now you're in the right place, bro. <laughs> uh, hey, he's right here. That is Tarius from the back door. Uh, the plug. Youngings will tell you he is the plug. Mommy, he's the plug. He's the plug. Let's go there. Uh, Tlandawa, that's where you are, right? Yes, yes. Linksfield, yes. Yes. Uh, you take the Linksfield road, that's where he is. But you said you're moving soon. Yes. So probably by June, we're looking to move to the, where we are now, Rosebank Park, Coast de Lovo, because okay. it's more trendy area. And yeah. also it's where most of our customers, like they, they travel from, because people travel everywhere from yeah. Pretoria. I everywhere. mean, I, I drove from Centurion to come to you. Exactly. And also we ship like uh, on our online everywhere, Cape yeah. Town, even places where where I'm like, yes, yeah, I don't even know where this is, but yes. there we go, go for it. Yes, because the story is online. Exactly. Right, okay. You say this for you started as, because you're a collector, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, there are certain things that in the store that you felt these are your personally yours, but people come in and they want to buy them. Exactly. Give me that story. Okay, so uh, <laughs> some people will say I'm a hoarder. My mother calls it Reggie's. My shop is Reggie's because I have so much toys around, like toys and like collectibles, things that no, most people think, oh, what is this? But uh, because it's uh, a special edition, it's yeah, actually yeah. worth something. So uh, uh, a good customer and a good friend of ours, uh, Oscar Mbo, he came to the hey, store Skiro. last week um, and he saw this... Um, Travis Scott, like it's a lunchbox and it comes with a, it's a flask inside. It's, yeah. it's, it's really, I, I wouldn't have done anything with it. It yeah. was just chilling as a display, a piece of art on the thing. And I think he's added out a few times when he's come yeah. and he, he looked at it and he said to me, you know, when are you, when are you going to sell me one of these things? Yeah. So, so I said, which one? He said, no, the lunchbox. Cause I can take some cool photos with my Travis Scott's cause he has a few pairs of Travis Scott shoes. Yeah. yeah. So 
a half dinner, puff dinner. <laughs> Even though it has no, it has like it's just a lunchbox. It's really yeah. just a metal, like you know those old school yeah, yeah, lunchboxes. Yeah. I said, you know, you my friend, just take it. Yeah. And for one hour after he left the store, I felt like a child. No. My child. You had a me. seller's remorse. <laughs> We have buyer's remorse after leaving your store. You had a seller's remorse. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's, yeah, there, there's so many times where these things are just, they're just chilling in the store. If you come to the store, you'll see it's not only sneakers and clothing. There's all toys and like, like things that you would, yeah, they just literally art and they just sit there. And for yeah. some reason, because I'm a collector and a hoarder, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm emotionally attached to these sure. things. Yeah, That's I like it. the word you used. You said this is art. Exactly. Is that why there's value? Definitely. And and just like art, you 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 buy the the painting or the shoe or whatever the case may be, and it appreciates over time because the fact that they are the collector's items they're not yeah. the normal one that you can just buy yeah. anywhere yeah. so definitely some of, even though these shoes here again we'll speak about these you don't have to buy them to wear them of course wearing them that's what they're made for but yeah. some people literally has full displays where they have their special bags their special shoes yeah. their special jackets because yeah. yes fair it is a piece of clothing that you wear and um, you enjoy, but you can also put them up and they look amazing, just as good as a painting, just That's as right. good as a piece of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, let's talk quickly about the, the shoes. You said this one. Yes. In particular, as a sample. Is that Edge or Edge on Edge on? Yes, Edge on 4 or what? Uh, yeah. The off sale white. colorway, yes. So, so that's the, that's a sample pair. So Meaning? A, there's there's so many levels to also to this collecting so the normal pair of this which is the pair that got released to the public again on the websites or whatever the case may yeah. be that shoe you can get now for about 30 to 40 let's say okay, okay. so it is an expensive shoe to begin with anything yeah. with this off-white is expensive that's but right this pair here um it not I'm not sure exactly the entire story of how or where it like exactly but obviously Nike before they release a thing a product they have to make samples that they send out to the designer to yeah, the whoever yeah, whatever yeah. and check the materials and that so this pair here is the actual sh sample that Nike must have sent within their, yeah, their, group their of organization yeah, yeah. to sign off to say this is how we're going to make the shoe so inside of the shoe you'll see the tag there it says promo sample and it's a sample pair and this pair is when you find these promo sample pairs it's it's Maybe there's maybe 10 pairs of these made that were sent one pair to this guy, one pair, and then they sit and sign off. I like this material. So even if you compare this one to the one that actually released yeah. to the public, there's slight differences. The material is a little bit different. The color is mm -hmm. slightly different. So they obviously take these samples and tweak it to how sure. everybody likes and then release it out to the public. Yes. Even the box says sample. Yes, exactly. Well, that box was that that box that's there mm. is uh, um, a box that was made for us. I told them to make it for oh, us okay. from a guy that makes these special display like boxes. So that shoe there actually didn't come with a box. Most times samples don't come with a box because okay, okay. they obviously sent yeah, 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 yeah. all the different parts. Yeah, um, closer to you, you have my favorite shoe there. Yes. The exactly. green one. Exactly. Hold Ooh. it. Feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. Guys. Guys, if you love Uncle T, put a thousand rand, uh, go fund me and buy him the shoe. <laughs> Yo, this thing is beautiful. Explain this to me. What is this? So that again was a collaboration with uh, Louis Vuitton um, and Nark and obviously Virgil Abloh. Unfortunately, he's passed away. Oh, but man. before he passed away, this was the second time that luxury designer um, brands have collaborated with Nark. The first one was Dior and Jordan. Yes. And that shoe is also that shoe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Extremely mm. expensive. Yeah. And the second time was this. So... They released a few colorways. I'm not too sure how many. I think there was like eight or nine yeah. that got released. And the only way to get the shoe 
from Louis Vuitton was if you were on their like their list. The VV. Exactly. The VVIP. So they call you and say, listen, you can buy the shoe. And this shoe wasn't cheap when it Take came it away on. before I sell my kidneys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this shoe was, I think, I think if you got luck, if you got picked to be seeded on their list, I think it was about 50,000, 55,000. Rands. Exactly. Exactly. And now it's appreciated because of the fact that it's so sought after to about 150,000 rand which is was i holding 150,000 rands in my hand right there yes you were well half of 150,000 <laughs> guys my birthday is in jen eh? you know what they say if you don't wish it it won't come true so there i was you know you put it in there the wishing well you better answer Fish go deep, cure and cause. Tell me about the song. Again, these songs are just like they good songs. Like you just Do you go out and party? No, not really. I'm not really one for that. I uh, I used to as a as a uh, like a, a younger, but funny enough, I, I don't like drink or anything. So I used mm. to go and just enjoy myself. But now as time goes by, I'd rather prefer to stay at home and just chill and I like playing golf. So that's what you I You play golf? <laughs> yes. Hey, we must swing soon. 100%. Yeah. Uh, no, but I don't go out much. We, the, the store is enough of a party. We have the music playing all day. So, yeah. yeah I like um, Jordans. Jordan 1s. A, 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 a Jordan 1s. But mid. I don't wear high tops. I gave away my high tops. I just find them uncomfortable around my ankle. Right? But mids, they accommodate me well. So the other day, watching sneaker corn reels. Yes. I get, they ask the question, what is the worst sneaker ever released? They're like, yeah, the mid Jordans, mid, no. Mm -mm -mm. I'm like, how, 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 how? I was hurt. <laughs> Your and, and funny enough is, a lot of people seem to have agreed with that sentiment. And I'm like, but this is fashion. This is subjective. How can you agree? Fashion is like that. Uh few years ago he's like now it's kind of slowed down but a few years ago if you were wearing a mid uh, you were wearing like you weren't that wasn't cool that wasn't the one hey, um, but now i think people have kind of realized that fashion is for individualism yeah. what i like you might not like and yeah. what you like i uh, hate you know and it's I mean? how you wear it too right 100 percent. it might look cool on me but oh cool on you but me i put it on and look like a clown so i don't know that's fashion and it always comes around yeah do you find i find that i buyers who will be more interested and more invested in the culture do they come and try and also obviously come into the store and buy yeah, okay, something is playing here okay so it just stopped thank you hey definitely Without and they come in and say like hey you can't sell me this shoe at this price Yo, every day every never day. it's like the for lack of a better description like the plaza you they come in i want the shoe okay sure no problem what's the best price okay then i'm like okay no problem we, we I'm happy to. I'm happy to yeah. accommodate sometimes. Some things I can, some things I can't. But yeah. sometimes it's ridiculous. I'll have a shoe, let's say, for 4000 The guy will literally say, I got 2000 I'm like, brother, the cost price is, yeah. is more than that. So yeah, that, yeah. that happens often. That yeah. happens every single day. Sometimes people are nice about it. they trying their luck. And sometimes we accommodate them. But sometimes guys are, so they, they, they take it to the max level. The max. What is the next wave? So what I've seen is vintage clothing is something that is coming in again. Well, yeah, coming in again. Because I think also as much as, yes, it is lovely to be able to afford these expensive shoes and, and that type of stuff. I think people look like, obviously, because of the fact that I think globally um, there is some type of downturn in the finances yeah. and stuff and people are, are, are i wouldn't say struggling but money is tight these yes. days for a lot of people wherever yeah. you globally and whatever level you are that extra money is not so much there That's anymore right. so i think people are looking now at fashion in the way of vintage because fashion always does a 360 That's uh, right. some things that maybe your father had in his cupboard that now you go into his cupboard and you pull it out and you're like wow why, why does he why does he have it it's cool now why, yeah, does, why did my yeah, dad or yeah. my mother have this thing yeah so 
I think that's what people are, are kind of leaning to. Yes, it's great to have the new fresh pair of Jordans or whatever, but if you can maybe mix and match, you have a vintage jacket with a new T-shirt and a vintage pair of shoes because vintage is sometimes worth more than the the, right. the, the brand. So don't thing. throw away your old gear. 100%. Look after them. Some of them you can... Just put in a box because trust me, fashion always comes around and, and, and you'll catch it when you'll see somebody wearing it and you'll be like, wow, I had a jacket like that from 10 years ago. Let me pull it out. <laughs> exactly. And then you have the jacket and, you, yeah. and you're back to... to Darius, thank you so much for sharing your passion with us, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I, think, I think you're doing an amazing job. It's amazing to see somebody make a life out of something they are passionate about. Yeah, and I great. think that's what we need in this world. Um, uh, because you are happier um, and more happier people create a happier society, if Definitely. you know what I mean. Without so, And again, you're opening our eyes as a current generation of parents to say, because you don't understand it, doesn't mean you must say no to it. Exactly. As long as you have given the basics, what I like about your approach is you did still go to school, finish what you're supposed to do. Yes, yes, yes. yes right? Yes, because it, that gives sort of security to mom. I never had a choice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But you st because of that, you yes. are able not to do so much more. I right? agree. And also another thing is that in life, sometimes things work out mm. and sometimes they don't. So at least to have something to fall back on because I said even that time when I opened with the 20 shoes, I didn't think. I, 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 yes, right. I had. I had um, confidence, and I, I, yeah. I, I, I believe that could happen. But I said to my mom, "In six months, listen, we'll sit down and we'll see. If it works <laughs> out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, at least I tried. I chased my dream, That's and right. at least I can tell people, you know, I went for it. I tried my I best, tried. and he, I had something to fall back on if I didn't. My yeah. Check him out. The back door on Instagram, back door on uh, 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 on online, yeah. and all socials. On socials. And basically, just the best thing, go to the store and check it out. Man. 100%. It's a vibe. Oh, by the way, as you walk in, the main door, look onto your left at the top. You'll see a super mega signed Reebok sneaker yes. just chilling there. Yes, yes, yes. Shame, bro. Wow. May his soul rest in peace, but what you have there is gold, my 100%, friend. 100%. 100%. He, so he came to the store and we got it. He got it to sign it. Yeah. And there yeah. it is. 100%. With an authentic, uh, authenticity certificate. Exactly. Exactly. You're the man, T. Thank you for having me.